Hello families, here for the next video we're going to use what we've know, learnt in the first two videos and then take it up another level. We're now going to add and subtract fractions with different denominators. So adding and subtracting with the same denominator, if we remember that, stayed fairly simple. Two fifths plus one fifth equaled three fifths. The number on the bottom, the denominator didn't change. So you just did the question at the top. And it was the same with subtraction. Three quarters minus two quarters equals one quarter. Nice and simple when the denominators, the number on the bottom, are the same. But if the denominators, the numbers on the bottom of the fraction, are different, it becomes harder. So, for example, 2 quarters plus 1 eighth. I okay. know. They are not the same. So it becomes harder. But as we saw in the second video, we can change this fraction so that they are the same and then do our simple formula from before. So we want to make the denominators the same. So we're gonna make them both out of eight. So two quarters, we actually want it to be out of eight. So what did we, what do we need to multiply by to become eight? Four, eight. We need to times by two. So that means we need to times the top number by two as well. So two quarters is the same as four eighths. And now we can do four eighths plus one eighth equals five eighths. And that was our original answer. So when the denominators are different, you multiply one of the fractions to make it have the same denominator. And then you can do the adding or subtracting of the numerators. I'll do one more addition and then show how it works exactly the same with subtraction for setting you some challenges. So, for example, if we had three tenths plus one fifth. They're exactly the same. We've got different denominators. So we need to make this one become the same as this. So we want the 10 on the bottom. We want the denominator to be 10. So we're going to rewrite the question. It's always easier to rewrite the question because we know we have to rewrite part of it. So three temps plus so many temps. What do I need to times this by? to make it into 10, five times two. So that means the top number also times two. So one times two is two. Then we can do three temps plus two temps equals five temps. So now I'll show you subtraction, but it works exactly the same. So if we add Five eighths minus one quarter. We need to rewrite the question where the denominators are the same. So five eighths minus eighths. So four is times two. So then we times two at the top. And we get five eighths minus two eighths, which gives us three eighths. So if they're not the same on the bottom, if they have different denominators, make them the same by finding the equivalent fraction and rewrite your question to make it easier for yourself. So here are some challenges I want you to try and do. 
one fifth plus three tenths equals. They're not the same, so can you make them the same? Two fifths plus eight fifteenths equals. They are not the same. Can you make them the same? Three fifths minus five twentieths equals. Now, all of those are your five times table, so you can convert those. Now, what about two? Sevenths, oh, we're getting more complicated now, plus seven twenty ones. Do you know your seven times table? What about fifteen thirty fourths minus two seventeenths? Much, much harder but you can do it by making them the same. And now I will give you a mastery question. So, how many quarters did I add to three eighths to get seven eighths? Okay, good luck. Multiply the top and the bottom by the same amount and you will then be able to do it. Make the denominators the same and you will then be able to do it. Good luck.